Hello and welcome to another episode of Local YouTuber Shamelessly Exploits His Family for Content. I'm your host Wolfgang and in this video I'm gonna build a small NAS slash photo backup server thingy for my parents. My mom and dad travel a lot and take tons of pictures and because of that they need a place to store all those pictures. And being the computer person that I am I wasn't going to sign my parents up for some kind of a big tech cloud backup service. Instead I decided to build a small NAS for them that would automatically sync the pictures from their phones to a photo prism instance. So I'm gonna pull together some components that I've had laying around and get to building. For the motherboard I'll be using the ASRock J4125. It's one of the best budget NAS motherboards, it has four SATA ports and literally sips power. The entire system consumes as little as 8 watts from the wall. It's also fanless which means no noise and no extra dust. To power it, I'm gonna be using this wide input Pika PC and a 12 volt laptop power supply. And for the RAM, I'm using a 4 GB stick of DDR4 RAM that I had laying around. Storage is where this kinda gets weird. Normally you'd want to use at least two hard drives in RAID 1 or something, but I also had two 1 terabyte NVMe drives laying around that I don't really have any use for. So I used one of them as the storage drive coupled with this PCIe X1 to NVMe adapter. Yes, that's going to bottleneck the drive quite a lot, but I think Wi-Fi is probably going to be the ultimate bottleneck here. <laughs> Finally, for the case, I'm going to be using this no-name Minitex case that I got off of eBay for 21 euros. This case has a compact flash slot, so you can tell that it's old. Still, it's in a pretty good condition and the design kind of has a 2003 vibe to it, which we love. So after installing the RAM, I also had to install this PCIe extension cable, since this SSD adapter wouldn't fit in the case otherwise. I then plugged in the Pico PCU and set the motherboard aside. Now let's work on the case. I removed the stock fan, since the computer will be running fanless, as well as the compact flash reader because it's not 2005. Then I installed the IO shield and the DC jack, because the case actually had a hole for it. Nice. Then I screwed in the motherboard and tested the power button, which worked. And the power LED, which also worked. So now we got a super tiny, fanless, low power home server with one terabyte of storage. My parents are really getting spoiled here. And it also kind of looks like a bastard child of a PlayStation 2 and a cheap car radio, which might be a good or a bad thing depending on your taste. So now that we're done with the hardware, let's talk about software. I originally wanted to run Open Media Vault because of its web UI, but ultimately decided to go with Ubuntu server and used my Ansible playbook to provision and deploy the server. I've recently updated my info repository on GitHub and basically simplified a lot of things. Now instead of trying to do everything at the same time, it just sets up Ubuntu with some sane defaults, installs Docker and templates the Docker Compose file. For my parents' NAS, I decided to go with Photoprism to synchronize the pictures from their phones and present them in a nice web UI, and sync thing to back up the data from their laptops. On the phone side of things, I'm gonna be using Photosync to automatically send the new pictures to the NAS when my parents' phones are charging. Yes, Photosync is paid, but it's been really stable and reliable in my experience, so I don't mind paying for it. Thanks to the MSMTP mailer role, I'm also going to be receiving emails about smart errors, Ubuntu updates and other stuff, so that I know if something goes wrong. Last but not least, I'm also going to set up an SSH port forwarding on my parents' Fritzbox, so I can do remote maintenance on the machine if something breaks. So there you have it, we built a super tiny fanless NAS with 1TB of flash storage and I think my parents will be pretty happy with it. That's gonna be it for this video and as usual I would like to thank my patrons. Carlos Benilla, David Love, James Uppington, Catherine DC, Mitchell Valentino, Primus, Ramos Ilyish, Robust Stream of Crypto and everybody else who supports this channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.